Hi there, in today's video I'm going to be talking about this guy, Burke from Trapdoor. Somewhere in the dark and nasty regions where nobody goes stands an ancient castle. Deep within this dank and uninviting place lives Burke. Hello! Overworked servant of the thing upstairs. Burke, feed me! But that's nothing compared to the horrors that lurk beneath the trap door. For there is always something down there, in the dark, waiting to come out. Don't you open that trap door? You're a fool if you dare. Stay away from that trap door. Cause there's something down there. So this is a plushy or soft toy which I picked up, I think it was from a car boot sale or a charity shop, I think it was only about 50p. It's not a toy I ever saw when I was younger, but it does sort of remind me of better times uh, in the 80s watching cartoons. This one was actually from a TV show, a British TV show, um, it's more of an animation than a cartoon, all made with um, stop frame animation with plasticine characters and the main idea behind the story was Burke is a servant or a, a house maid or butler or something uh, he lives in a big castle and he has to do jobs and make dinner for the thing which lives upstairs which is something you never actually see you just hear a voice who calls Burke to make his dinner for him and then each episode I think they're only about 10 minutes long, maybe. Um, he has to run around the castle collecting um, all sorts of things like worms and slime um, to make some interesting dinner for the thing upstairs and then he sends it upstairs for him to eat. But in every episode, there's a trap door which is um, in the kitchen area and uh, it always opens up and something uh, strange or monstrous comes out of the trap door and Burke has to deal with it. Um, it's one of those uh, animation series which, when you was younger, you thought there was hundreds and hundreds of these episodes. But I think there probably was only, um, let's have a look. So there was only 25 episodes and they were made in 1984. And so I would have been only four years old around the time. But again, I, I can remember this sort of being on when I was sort of 8, 9, 10, 11, that sort of age. And... Um, yeah, like I said, it I, it felt like there was loads of episodes. It went on to... They made... Another good memory for me is the ZX Spectrum computer game. And it's one of the first games on the Spectrum where it actually felt like you were playing the cartoon or the animated show. Uh, the graphics were really big and bold and uh, it just looked really great and it just felt like you were playing a cartoon. So that's uh, another good memory of this show. And uh, it's just very iconic and it just brings back lots of childhood memories whenever I see this set up on my shelf. Um, there was Burke and there was Boney the Skull. And um, yeah, it's just one of those cartoons where it's all based in like one or two, two rooms. So they really had to make a good funny story and it worked really well. It says on Wikipedia here that... Um, the TV channel Pop has started making more episodes in 2010. Um, haven't actually seen them, so I'm quite interested to see what they've done with the series. So I might go over in a minute and check those out. But yeah, that's Burke from Trapdoor.